brothers and a bro face to you all because I am back after skipping a singular day of dailies. I'm horrible, horrible, horrible person. I'm back and of course we're going to finish up this week with Drama Friday. Mmm, so many of you show up for Drama Friday. It's like, I've been waiting all week for this. I've been working my ass off so I can get out of work on a Friday and come and watch some Drama Friday. And I respect that. I respect that you want to tune in, say hello, and generally be all around kinds of gangster. Some of you are going to expect me to go, Flexi Raid? What is this? What is this flexible raid nonsense? What is Flexi Raid? What is Preachy's thoughts? In fact, my email box is in pain. You hurt my email. You hurt it. You hurt my email. You made it cry. You made it, you made it, made it upset. My email, my email is not happy with you people. Is this like, <laughs> sorry, but you must check MMO champion. You must check it. Well, I am not going to discuss it today. If there was a daily today, I would discuss it. But, but, I'm not going to. You know why? Because it's web show tomorrow. That's right, it's web show tomorrow with me and Ghost. So I'll be dropping some thoughts there. But more importantly, on Sunday at 5 p.m. GMT, I have no idea what time that is in the States. If you're watching live, it's an hour from now. I will be on the Convert to Raid podcast as their special guest. We'll be talking about all this kind of stuff. We're going to be talking about it hardcore. They invited me back for the third time. The third time. So hopefully noon Eastern Standard Time. Noon Eastern Standard Time. There you go. Noon. Uh, I will be their special guest. We will be asking me all kinds of questions, which I love doing actually. It's quite cool to do stuff live where I've not prepared it. I don't really do a lot of that besides streaming. Uh, but yeah, I'll be their guest and we'll be talking about raiding, LFR, apathy, accessibility, and of course flexible rating. I'm interested to see what the guys come up with in terms of questions or any thoughts they have on the matter. I've already taken to the throne and had my thoughts on it. Interesting. Interesting, but all shall be revealed. I will discuss it on Sunday and Saturday and we'll probably do a daily on it where I can do my fully rounded thoughts after a discussion with the Convert to Raid guys. So yeah, Convert to Raid if you want to listen into that live podcast, it's just convert to raid.com. It's two T's in there. Don't forget that. If you go to Convert to Raid, you might get something a little bit iffy. Don't do that. Convert to raid. Double T. Double T. There's two T's in there. Anyway, onwards with Drama Friday. Mm, I kind of need to make a point as well that I'm doing some stuff or going through some stuff IRL. Content shouldn't be affected, but I am stopping live streaming tonight. I want to get back to doing the live streaming after the daily ASAP. Some of you sent me emails about it because you kind of sensed something was wrong. It's fine. It's not something I want to go into. But uh, content should remain pretty normal. I just need my evenings. I need my evenings just now. Onwards with Drama Friday. I have three stories lined up for you today. They are long ones-ish. Long-ish. It's just a game. Story number one. Hopefully we'll get through three of them. Maybe not. Uh, it's just a game. The shitty priest and me the noob. And how I lost my guild, my hobby, my best friend... And my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of suspect which one people want to hear more. <laughs> I kind of suspect which one. The shitty priest. Oh, oh no. The shitty priest. Shitty priest. You want some of my shitty chicken? You want some of my shitty chicken? Have some of my shitty chicken. You'll be fine with shitty chicken. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go with the shitty priest. I didn't expect you guys to say that one, actually. I'm surprised. Well done. Right. Let's get. We've got characters. Who wants to be the shitty priest? <laughs> okay, let me point out. We've got a shitty priest. A shitty priest. Uh, IRL friend. Who's bound to be an asshole, right? Gladiator 1 for them PvPers. So we've got Glad 1. We've got Gladiator 2. And a few minor roles that we don't need names for. So there we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, we'll have Sunus. Sunus from the mighty Australian shall be our shitty priest. <laughs> Who's that? It's Dino. Dino's being the IRL friend. Love it. Uh, Farpy, you could be a gladiator because that, that sounds like a PvP name to me. It does. It does. Farpy, I'm in. It's like close to Fappy. <laughs> so, okay with that. Uh, <laughs> Gamer Girl, gladiator 2. Oh, no, we'll save. Uh, Gamer Girl, I will save your name for later on. We'll have you in the, the girlfriend story. Shaxi! Another cool, cool PvP names that also contain X's. We like that, right? PvP names that also contain X's are always the best. Always the best. Whew. 
here we go. Chapter 1. My star. Hello to Preacher and all you fellow ballers. My story begins with me as a console gamer going to a friend's house and finding, not watching him playing, but finding WOW on his computer and having him log in and test the game. Instantly I fell in love. But I never thought much about it because I was 10 years old. I had a short attention span. 10 years old. It's like an orgasm at 10, isn't it? When that new game arrives. Being 10 is awesome. Being 10, games are everything. I want to stay 10 forever. I'm trying, I'm trying. Being 10, what is, what is this game? Look at the graphics compared to my console. By the way, after playing some Xbox 360, good management of certain games. Graphics are fucking terrible. They're so bad. Even at their 1080p. God, they're bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> this is console generation. You should be thankful that you're getting the private eye in your room. You really should. Not that any of you are console generation, I assume. <laughs> One day, while my godfather... It's kind of, no, too many thoughts. Was staying at my house and also playing the game on, <laughs> and my Xbox just broke. Suddenly people are playing WoW and then suddenly this 10 year old's Xbox just broke. It just... Weird, right? <laughs> Isn't that strange? I just saw two awesome games on PC and guess what fucking happened? What? It broke. My Xbox just... It just broke. It just, I don't know what's happened. But it's got a screwdriver in it, little Billy. Hey, little Billy, you've got a screwdriver in your Xbox. Let's see what went wrong. <laughs> I like the way no one assumed the kid broke it. Xboxes, they just red ringed. It is normal. <laughs> it was normal. Crushed. I was crushed by the loss of my Xbox. But I saw him playing the game and asked him if I could get in it. Could he get it for me? Because my parents didn't like games I had to pay for month for. And was limited to one game. Unlike Xbox Live. Awesomely he agreed and even said he would pay the monthly fee as he actively paid and was loaded to go. Okay, so the good godfather. The good godfather who hangs about your house for some reason. Playing World of Warcraft. Yeah, he's that guy. He's that guy in your family who's at your house. <laughs> he's at your house. <laughs> He's, a, he's your godfather, and he needs to stay with us for no apparent reason. No apparent reason. It's not that he's like a penniless bum who plays games all day, and he's jobless. I'm assuming things. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So chapter two is we're going to play some WoW. I began and made, <laughs> made and preached, forgive me. I'll try. I made a dwarf hunter called T-Master. I am not forgiving you for that. Dwarf Hunter, I am fine with. I am. Dwarf Hunters look good. Dwarf Hunters are alright. Team Master? Nope. That is unforgivable. Team Master? No. This was at the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King, Team Master said. <laughs> Team Master, what a guy. I mainly made this character because it was what my godfather played. And I was kind of short IRL. Well, I'm a dwarf, so... I guess I should play the dwarf then. That's so self-deprecating, isn't it? That is so hurtful to yourself. Well, I guess I'm going to play the small character. Because I'm small too. <laughs> and felt a connection. But I would not become a gnome as I found it insulting. <laughs> Ten-year-old logic. I'm not that small. I'm not gnome small. I'll be a dwarf. I'll be a dwarf. It'll be fine. I'm not being a gnome though, that's just stupid. That's just insulting to myself, I don't want to do that. I began and had a good idea on how to play, being I had read the paper guide that came with my WoW as I bought the battle chest and it, <laughs> and it came with a classic and burning crusade paperback guide. Good shit, good shit. I had no trouble getting a grasp on the game once I truly started playing because I was naturally good at games. He's gifted. He's a short, stubby, Bearded, gifted, ten-year-old. Are we clear? A dwarven, gifted, ten-year-old? He's good. He's good. He's Neo. But if Neo was a dwarf... <laughs> that would have been a different story if Neo was a dwarf, right? I don't even think Tyrion Lannister could have pulled that off. Dunklage. Dunklage could not pull off a Neo. Not even Dunklage could pull off a Neo. That wouldn't have happened. That was not going to go down well. 
I made it to level 15 when I started randomly disconnecting. I asked my godfather and he said that he wanted to play and we couldn't play at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for your account. But um, we totally can't play together at the same time. <laughs> for no apparent reason, okay? <laughs> I definitely have the money to pay for two WoW accounts. That's why I'm living with your parents. <laughs> oh, at least he tried, right? At least he tried. I said, what the fuck? And how can we? He said, you'll have to pay for a second account on the same Battle.net account. I was like, okay. Little did I know that he, would he wouldn't would delete my chart and steal my name and use it as a bank alt. You lost Tea Master? Dude, not cool. You lost Tea Master. That's unforgivable. That's terrible. Oh no. <laughs> that Tea Master. How will we get by? <laughs> How will we get by without Tea Master? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And I would be left <clears throat> with a level 15 Night Elf Rogue and a level 25 Janai Shaman. Both male. I didn't delete them. So his, his godfather has given him a new account, right? He's given him his old account. I didn't delete them, but decided to level them later. After being pissy, I finally made another Dwarven Hunter named Padme. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a different name, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> It's a different name. <laughs> Chapter 3. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It wasn't called Padme. <laughs> that would have been brilliant though, right? Hairy bearded Padme. That would have been good shit. That would have been good shit. Chapter 3. Finding my friend IRL. <laughs> it's not Team Master X. Yeah, it should have been Team Master X. After about a week or two, I was talking with my friend about WoW when he said he still played and was actually on my realm. Astounded. I said, we should level together. Good plan. Good plan. After catching up 10 levels to him, we leveled, and at 55, he was a dick and dropped his pally for a DK. What a dick. God. Pfft. Jesus Christ, you're such a dick. Although you're still the same level, so you're kind of not a dick really, but what a dick move, right? Because we were friends, we were bros, we had it all worked out. So I had to wait a few hours on him to hit level 58, and I was ahead of him so we could quest Outlands together. Once we hit Northrend, I said, Dude, you're slow. <laughs> I'll bet you 5,000 gold I hit 80 first. He was like, Dude, I ain't slow. I'll take that bet. <laughs> what a play. You should be a writer. You should. You should write that. This is a lot how Way of the Warrior 2 sounds. There's a lot of me and Ghost going, Dude, that totally sucks. And then Ghost goes, Dude, I know, right? Dude. Two days later, I'm 80, and he, of course, is 73. He backs out on the bet, and I don't care. I quickly look for guilds to start PvPing with, as I thought PvE looked quite boring. I'm gonna. This is so 10 year old. This is every person in the BG, isn't it? <laughs> I'm 10 year old T Master, and PvE looks shit, right? So I'm gonna PvP with you, fucker. <laughs> introduce a lot of racist slurs and gay bashing and so on and so forth. <laughs> you know, <laughs> PV looks shit, man. I've come straight from my fucking Xbox. I know what's going on. The Xbox Red Ring because I played it too hard, motherfucker. <laughs> Team Master, don't take your shit. I bet your, <gasps> I bet your Xbox Live gamer tag is Team Master, isn't it? <laughs> your Team Master in my Call of Duty games. Chapter four. I was wrong. After being sick of grinding BGs and doing my 10 arenas for the week, I saw that quite a few raids are going on and decided, what the hell, I'm bored, can't get much worse. I whispered them my gear score, mm, 10 years old, already is influenced by the gear score. That's right, 10 years of age and already poisoned, absolutely poisoned by the gear score. Hey, I'll come, here is my gear score. <clears throat> and they sent an officer of the guild being this was a guild run, to inspect me. Seeing as I was better geared than he was, even though I was PvP gear, his words, not mine, they accepted me to this run. <laughs> Within five minutes of clearing the trash, we were having a laugh. 
Then the boss explanation came. Being as I had researched the first five fights, he is the chosen one. And not expecting to go farther, being a ten man of unknown quality. <laughs> I do not know the quality of your ten man raid. Therefore I expect you to fail. I quickly asked the raid leader, whom was not in the guild who was not the guild leader, thank God, why he had made it so complicated. It was an easy with a very easy explanation. Excuse me, Mr. Raid Leader. I may be ten and dripping in PvP gear, but I couldn't help but notice that you actually explain this boss in a more complicated manner than needs be. So why don't you just trust the old T Dog to get you through this? <sighs> he said, Well you explain it then. And I did. And even began taking over the raid, and I had a loud and commanding personality. At the age of 12. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm the raid leader now. So you better just listen to me. Because this boss is how it dies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Assuming you have pubic hair at 12. Which you should. You should. You should have it. I'm very commanding in my presence. I have pubes, you know. <laughs> When the raid said that, that was easy and a lot more fun, <laughs> that is a lot. That explanation was a lot more fun. <laughs> what a fun explanation! The raid leader apparently had a major drama queen rage quit and quit the guild. Except for this, I found PVE very fun and exciting. The guild leader, whom I found out was the biggest troll in the realm, wanted me in, and it turns out it was mainly a PVP guild, and they were experimenting. In PvE this time. Oh, wow. That's right. You done goofed. You messed with the biggest troll on the server, and he happens to be in a PvP guild. So, you better watch your back. You better watch out. Look out. Chapter 5. The Cataclysm. Not paying much attention to the two months left in Wrath, I leveled a DK called DK Master. And waited for the new expansion with bated breath. The guild leader, being a priest named... Snooze! Oh, I'm gonna call you Snooze. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> DK Master, I'm joking. <laughs> it just makes sense to me. <laughs> Called Snooze, who was still the biggest troll at large, and me, a hunter at the time with a dwarf DK alt, decided to get serious into arenas with the new conquest system. So Snooze and DK Master are teaming up. They're forming an ultimate partnership. Priest Hunter, arena time. Oh, yeah. Being of moderate skill, and Snooze, whom I thought was good, turned out to be shit. Oh, he was shit. Yeah, he was shit. We did good at first, getting to around 1800 rating. And farming the BGs for gear when we hit a wall. He said it was, of course. What's the old, old, old answer? What is the answer? Why? <laughs> why do you fail in arena? It's the only one reason. There's only one possible justification why any team fails in arena. It's not lag. Come on! It's not lag! It's not lag! No! 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 We've got no PvPers. <laughs> no, that gear could be. Comp! It's the comp, right? It's not us. It's the comp. We're getting counter comped constantly! Jesus! And then you forget when you fight a mirror match and lose really badly. <laughs> oh, it's another Hunter Priest. We should win because we're awesome. Lose. We must have got counter comps. Yeah, let's just forget about that. Yeah, healer sucks. Healer sucks. <laughs> I should switch to my DK, who was about the same gear. <laughs> if, if in doubt, switch to DK, right? If in doubt, switch to DK. We tried it, but this time we hit another wall, but at 1900. I was frustrated and I decided to pay attention to the stats, thinking it was him being disfocusing more on damage than heals. It's his fault. <sighs> Can't be me, I'm playing multiple Do you know the effort I'm putting into this team? I put two classes into this team to try and support you, Snooze. Okay? And you're letting me down, Snooze. And now I'm going to call it. <laughs> Turns out he would do about half the healing of me. A frost DK! Dun dun dun. Sounds about right. Yeah, PvPers? <laughs> yeah, PvPers? Sounds about right. Other healers would be doing about four times as much as me and more damage than him. I asked him why his healing resembled a soppy bollocks. Nice! Why are you doing soppy bollocks healing? 
being as he was high most of the time, snooze. Drugs are bad, son. Drugs are bad. He shouldn't be taking drugs and doing arena. He should be taking it more seriously. Okay. Stop getting high while we're doing arena snooze. Stop it. <laughs> Being as I just assumed he didn't care. And he even played better when high, of course. <laughs> ah, hey, why are you high all the time? Dude, I play better when I'm high. Do you feel me? Is it true or is it just I don't notice? All the shit I'm doing wrong when I'm high. <laughs> it must be just playing better because, uh, from my perspective, I don't see that many problems <laughs> when I'm doing it. I don't see many problems when I'm doing this. I was astounded and I decided to hit the front of Stormwind for some jewels and ran into a couple of gladiators who were just having <laughs> who were just having fun. Dueling some noobs. I decided what the hell. This would be fun. Surprisingly, I beat the rep pally named Farpy. Mmm, Farpy. Good shit. Okay, I need to change the name of it. God, I did your naming wrong. As, <laughs> as, as by shocked by this, his lock friend, Shaxi. Yeah, Shaxi. Okay, his lock friend, Charlie, decided to duel me too. And the duel came down to 100 health when my AMS saved me and my dots killed Shaxi. They were shocked that I had actually beat them. They asked me how and I promptly said as any DK will agree, it's just easy to smash your face on the keyboard. Oh, so chill. Not an ounce of arrogance. Why did I beat you? Because I'm a DK. And as a DK, it doesn't take much to beat the likes of you guys, Mr. Gladiator. Because I'm a DK. Boo boo. Boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good laugh and they said what the fuck are you doing with snooze he's shit i said i don't know i thought snooze was good till recently they laughed they said tell him to fuck off and run with us and i was like hell yeah stone cold steve austin after leaving the arena team and kicking snooze from my threes raging and being a troll he g kicked me well played snooze Oh, poor snooze. And then he tried to inf me back, but found me already in another guild within minutes. I had nine other dicking around alts out of the guild. He being pissy that I had so many, tried to carry on a sentence in G-chat in nine segments. <laughs> so he's trying to kick all the alts. Hey, please don't leave. I love you all. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why did you leave, bro? Chapter 6 The Calm and then the Storm. Me and my new friends, Farpy and Shaxi, were doing well at around 2300 team rate. Farpy went holy, and I went unholy, and we ran Shadow Cleave. One day, our faithful troll Snooze decided to link a 2k achievement when trade started laughing at him, including myself. He tried to troll me and this turned ugly for him. Snooze, you're not having a good day, buddy. Snooze, it's not going well. He not having much to troll me with, seeing as I was doing in a better guild, more progression and higher rating couldn't touch me. I'm so proud of my rating. I'm so proud of my rating. When I started telling Trade about his low healing and even his teammates agreed, he shut up. <laughs> Poor Snooze. After about a month, most of his guild had left for better guilds and his team dumped him for a girl priest. At least she was doing it right. At least she was doing it right. They dumped him for a girl. At 12, that must be like the biggest burn ever. Oh, you got dumped for a girl? Ew, you suck, man. Replaced by a girl. Ugh. Seeing no future on this realm, he transferred six of his characters and his guild to a different, different realm on Blackrock. And from what I've heard from my friends who went with him, he's doing no better but still playing. Currently, I'm on a realm. The realm I was on died. Now I am raiding kill casually and PvPing. Without time to get serious, that I have a full job and still gladly strut my gladiator tile. This is the end of my tale. I hope you enjoyed this story. Poor Snooze! Where was Dino? I think you wrote the characters before the story. Sorry, Dino. We'll get you in. We'll get you in. Don't you worry, Dino. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, my friend. Oh, poor Snooze! 
Poor Snoozy. Mr. Snoozy. Right. Right. How I lost my girlfriend, my hobby, my best friend, and my girlfriend. I have a good feeling we're about to get really sad. And it's going to be cry. Okay. The girlfriend. She's bound to be a cheating slut. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I can't remember the name of the, the guy who's going to play the girl. Oh, God. So annoying. Bastard. <laughs> the new GM. <laughs> the new GM. Gamer girl. Okay. The girlfriend will be gamer girl. That's right. Gamer girl. Dino, you're the new GM. And I have... What? The old GM. Okay. The old GM. Who's the old GM? I'm old. <laughs> oh, Cuddlekins? You're in. Cuddlekins. Mr. Cuddlekins, the old GM. Mr. Cuddlekins, the old GM. Oh, this is going to be really sad. Like, genuinely sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello to everybody. This is my story about a little bit of drama that just wrapping up with recent, with current affairs. You ready, people? We're going current affairs. And social life right about now. Oh, God, I'm so depressed already. Before I delve into the depths that is my tale, I believe a little bit of backstory is in order. I guess a preface ish thing. I'll start by saying we are Canadians. Not Swedish. We are Canadians. <laughs> 18 years of age and just finishing our senior year of high school. Dude, you stay in high school till 18? What the fuck? That is bullshit. That sucks. Team Canada. <laughs> I changed my college choices to be with my girlfriend. To be with my girlfriend, Gamer Girl, and my friend, Dino. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Since it seemed like a smart idea to go to the same school together. It didn't work out with Starship Troopers. Ain't gonna work out for you. You get me? Okay? The Starship Troopers couldn't pull it off. It ain't gonna work for you. Now into the actual story. <laughs> my girlfriend gamer girl got me into wow interesting the girl got him into wow a little bit of a change that's canadian for a start right everything doing it backwards gotta do it backwards in canada canadian land so in canada the girls get you into wow how's that guys how do you feel now <laughs> how do you feel now in canada the girls get you into wow just over a year and a half ago during rage of the firelands she was doing it wrong she rolled herself a dk I don't think so. Uh, and I rolled a hunter. And we began working our way to 85. It was actually a really good start to WoW for me. I got to level at a slow pace with someone who I could chat to for hours on end about anything and everything. I love her so much. Aww. We didn't hit 85 until the Dragon Soul was out. But we were fresh 85s, and I had no idea what an endgame really was. Not playing many MMOs before. Although I ran some LFRs, I got bored of being a ranged class and rerolled to my current main, the Mighty Protection Paladin. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Around this time, I was hitting level 40. My IRL friend Dino got wind of the land that is Azeroth. He joined us on his newly formed hunter. Oh, he actually replaced you not only in spirit, but in class. Because bitches love hunters. Did you know that? DK bitches love hunters. That's fact. She loves the beard. Because in Canada, everybody's grizzly. You're not thought this through at all. You did not. But he strokes it with swag. Swagger strokes. Mmm. <sighs> But he did re-roll after 85 to his dis priest. Mm. We're priests. <laughs> so he went. So he's playing the priest and she's playing the DK. I just want to reiterate that 
in Canada, the guys play the priests, and the women play the DKs. Everybody clear? <laughs> That's so wrong. Dude, that's dirty. That's just... That ain't right. It was a glorious time of running the End Time Dungeon Series. <laughs> that's so wrong. What are you doing? Wow. Oh, dude, I'm having a great time. There's these three heroics. They're so good. They're so fucking... Oh, sorry. They're so good, eh? These three dungeons. Sorry. Sorry. It's bad, I know. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Tanking, being healed, which helps while tanking, I've got to be honest, with it being healed while tanking, and having a ball of DPS always together. That's right, his girlfriend is ball of DPS. <laughs> Although, also, just after Dino hit 85, oh, we've got another friend? Oh! Wow. Okay. Hold up. We've got another friend. I don't know how long this... Wolf B? I think we've had... We'll have Zanzus. Okay, we'll have Zanzus. Maybe Zanzus is the dick. Oh! A twist. Our friend Zanzus also heard about the world of Warcraft. He joined us on his warrior. Ladies love a good warrior, guys. I've got to be honest. I've had so much poon when I was playing a warrior. It's for real. None of us were overly involved in the community, as another IRL friend who quit around the time I started had recommended me to a low-pop PvP realm. Drak Tharon. That made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. A low pop PvP realm? Wow. That's fucking horrific. That's horrific. A low pop PvP realm. I don't know if there's anybody on Drak Tharon. That sounds totally shit. Totally shit. Since I was here, my girlfriend and two friends had also started here. As, as we cleared our LFR Dragon Soul runs, we knew there had to be greater future in this. We all pitched money in and tried... What do you mean you pitched money in? Wait, you made a pot? Who was the poor person? Oh, who needed to get paid to transfer? Gamer girl. Of course she wasn't paying on her own. Am I right, guys? Solidarity, fellas. Solidarity. We all pitched money in and transferred all our mains to our new realm. A high pop normal realm. Known for its raiding community. <laughs> Zanzos was not happy with Ordinary. He started reading Elitist Jerks. Around this time, I started looking at Noxic and this lovely YouTube channel I found. Oh! Between the two of us, we pulled my girlfriend and Dino into topping the meters. I thought she was ball of DPS. I thought she was ball of DPS. Apparently not. And topping survivability. And all that good shit. When Mop dropped, Zanzos had got into a guild called TheBomb.com. They sound awesome. <laughs> Named after a sleeping... Are you in the band? I'm not saying it anymore. A guild... <laughs> I think you're plugging your own band there. I see what you did there. A guild that was level 15 and looking forward to a bright future in Mr. Pandaria raiding. A-okay. A-okay. Since Zanzus was an excellent player, he moved up the ranks and ended himself in a co-GM spot and grabbed the three of us into our guild. Ain't they always? Yeah, you know it. Join the bomb.com, level 15, looking to raid really hardcore stuff soon. Join, please. <laughs> the bomb was a guild that recruited as casual. And the GM, Cuddlekins, I love that name, by the way. Best name on the stream. And the GM Kulkins assured us we would be raiding, we would get raiding once we had some more members and hit level 25. Because am I right, guys? You can't raid until you hit level 25. What, raid without mass resurrection? I don't think so. Not in Kulkins' world. Not on his watch. Not on Kulkins' watch. That ain't gonna happen. We, we can't raid until we hit level 25, guys. Uh, I don't. It doesn't matter if we've got 800 members. We're not doing it. Kuddlekins also said that he would pick up people who were good. <laughs> you joined such a shit guild. Holy fuck. We're not raiding till... Definitely gonna raid, and I'm only inviting good players. <laughs> I can only invite good players. <laughs> Around this time, Dino had leveled his Warlock up to 90, and with Rocky... What? And with a rocky start, not knowing to gear, haste on my paladin, I was invited in as a raid leader. Oh, this guy's gemmed wrong? Then you're raid leader. I like it. You fit our profile, guy. You are in. 
Raids started off quite well for a new guild in early mop, since no one had raiding experience except our GM, Cuddlekins. We cleared up to Elegon within a few weeks of raiding. It was in that time that I learned how much I hated Cuddlekins. Oh no, don't hate Cuddlekins. I like Cuddlekins. It's the best name. As I had said earlier, Cuddlekins had let us in under the pretense <laughs> that whoever was online during Ray Nights would get to raid. And we could casually have fun and stuff while raiding. Well, apparently his idea of fun was getting into the instance, telling us to shut the fuck up, and bitching at casual players when they accidentally led us to a wipe. I like you, Cuddlekins. You know what you want. Complaining about how we could pug better people than us. Reminding us how shitty we are. And so on. Good old Cuddlekins. I could see this attitude if we were playing at a little higher level than not killing anything. But hey, I haven't raided before. That might be the norm for a casual entry level guild. Nice. Gamer Girl and Zanzus don't work. Mm. They were able to be on every raid night. <laughs> Dino and I work shifts working at a local restaurant. It's fucking McDonald's. We all know it's Mc You had to chip in for a realm transfer. It's McDonald's. Don't lie. Okay, you and Dino are the big noobs, right? You're the big cash payers. You're the ones bringing in the big dough. The Mc dough to pay out for the Mc realm transfers. We know what's going up. We know what's going up. We know. <clears throat> we don't get to choose what days we have off. This led us to eventually being told to stop raiding. Even though I thought I would be chosen if I was online. Since apparently I'm a half decent healer. But since Cuddlekins is fuck the guild if we aren't clearing the raiding one night attitude would get to me, I often just wouldn't raid. I would also talk to, uh, to my girlfriend about my issues with Cuddlekins. I figured, oh, who's the bad guy? It could be anybody at this point, couldn't it? Is it Dino? Is it Zanzos? Or is it, is it Cuddlekins? Cuddlekins, you're gonna bring back. You're gonna bring home the bacon. You're gonna kick the boyfriend from the raid and then bring home the bacon. Hmm. I figured, hey, no big deal, right? Apparently, while I was working, Gamer Girl and Cuddlekins would lock themselves into the officer's vent channel and talk for hours while standing around in the shrine of the two moons. Oh, Cuddlekins. Oh. Cuddlekins. This. <laughs> this is how Dino and Gamer Girl ended up being officers. While I sat as a lowly member of the guild. One day while at work I received a text from Gamer Girl simply stating, You got kicked from the guild! <gasps> kicked by text! That's fucking harsh, right? You got kicked by text. SMS kicked from the guild. Owned. You got fucking owned so hard. Holy shit. Kicked from the guild by text. <laughs> Since random G kicks and reinvites were normal, good guild. Really good guild. Yeah, it's a dick move. That's that's not cool, man. <laughs> ghosted. You got ghosted. Since this is normal to be randomly kicked and invited from Cuddlekins' guild, good guild. I thought nothing of it. You've been kicked from the guild. <laughs> Silly old Cuddlekins. I can trust him, right? He's a GM. And with that, he has credentials and power. I get home that night and hopped onto my DK alt to ask to be reinvited. I was quickly kicked off that too. I then hopped on my walk. And would you know it, it happened again. <laughs> oh no, it just keeps happening. Why keep getting kicked? This is so weird. This is so fucking weird. After asking Gamer Girl what happened, she told me Cuddlekins was tired of me bitching about the guild. Oh no. I asked the only question that I could. How does he know I'm bitching about the guild? I never told anybody but you. You can imagine my delight 
when I found out she had been sharing not only my opinions on the guild, but personal things I had told her, thinking, you know, being her boyfriend of over two and a half years, she might keep secrets safe. I lost my motherfucking shit for the first time ever over a video game since I quit Assassin's Creed 1 because the fucking wall climbing pissed me off. Now you know it's serious. Okay? Now you know it's serious. This is as bad as the wall climbing in Assassin's Creed 1. Is everybody up to speed on how much he lost his shit? That's how much he lost his shit. Okay? It was that serious. It, it was Assassin's Creed 1 wall climbing serious. So... We're not joking right here, right? Okay. Luckily, I was home. I was at home alone, and no one heard me. So Canadian. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I apologize to nobody. I apologized anyway, just to be sure. I politely told my girlfriend to fuck off. Mm. I took. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I took. A day or two off from WoW. This is pretty serious. I've lost my girlfriend of two and a half years. This is going to take a day, maybe two away from World of Warcraft before I can get over this injustice. Because this is really serious. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time <laughs> to get my head around this. Two and a half years wasted. It's going to take me a day, maybe two, away from World of Warcraft to do this. When I logged in a few days later, I was delighted to see that my hunter, priest, and monk were all still in the guild. Figuring I might be able to listen to some juicy gossip about how much of a dick I was. I told Zanzus, Gamer Girl, and Dino, you told Gamer Girl. Not to mention that I had alts still in the guild, since I wanted to hang out and fuck around with the GM. Stealth missions, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Undercover work, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it very wrong. Hey, I know we just broke up and stuff, but don't tell anybody I'm here, right? Zanzos promptly kicked me from the guild. I was slightly miffed. <laughs> slightly miffed. I was slightly miffed. <laughs> Not to, put it, not to put it too harshly and pardon my French, but I was slightly miffed. I was ever so slightly miffed. I mean, golly. <laughs> golly gun drops. I was slightly miffed that I had been stabbed in the back by two IRL friends. I had to take a month away from WoW. This is serious now. I had to take a month away from WoW because, my my, this just got a little bit serious. A month away from WoW. G Willikers, <laughs> trying not to take my video game rage out on my friends. I spent my time focusing on getting Gamer Girl away from Cuddlekin. Cuddlekins. Oh man. Oh, you are so deluded, dude. So deluded. It's harsh. Painfully deluded. And I'm going to be the best boyfriend I could. Is Ghost still here? I would like a ghost response to that statement. From the girl who texted him he'd been kicked. And then kicked him around. <sighs> and now he's going to be the best boyfriend ever. <clears throat> I took her for a lovely prom night. You paid, is what you're saying, is you paid. You paid the jobless gamer girl for her prom. Did you buy the dress? Did you buy the dress? This is important. Did you buy the dress? Because you done goofed. We went to dinner at her favorite restaurants. So she shits on you from a huge height. You went bukkake. So you took her to prom and her favorite restaurants for it. Just putting that out there, that's what you did. Okay. And even got her a beautiful necklace for her birthday just over a month ago. I wrote, as of writing this on June 3rd. Mother of God. Holy mother of God. 
dude. Please. I mean, no. I was gonna, <laughs> just over two weeks ago, I got wind that Cuddlekins had left WoW. Yes. We still have even a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Cuddlekins left WoW. This is it, guys. We're moving in for the kill. <laughs> and a given GM to Zanzus. And co-GM to my dearest... My dearest gamer girl. Oh, I feel sick. <clears throat> they allowed me back into the guild. Allowed you. Your girlfriend, who you took to prom, bought a necklace. You totally bought the dress. And her favourite restaurants. Gave you the opportunity. Nay! Allowed you to join a WoW girl. <laughs> you, sir... I've been blessed by the gods. <laughs> oh, they allowed me back into the guild. Again, as a member. Seriously, I have three of my best friends leaving the guild and they won't even give me a raider spot. And TBH, I play just as well as Zanzus. So a week or two ago, I started noticing that Zanzus and Gamer Girl were doing the same as Cuddlekins and Gamer Girl. Oh, Zanzus. Oh, Zanzus. <laughs> Spending large... <laughs> She's so... Oh, Gamer Girl, doing it right. Doing it right. Spending large amounts of time in the office of Venture. Staying in Shrine of the Two Moons and running heroics together. Did... You didn't do a... You didn't do... Just tell me you didn't do a heroic scenario together. Just tell me that didn't happen. I can live with the five mans. Just tell me it wasn't a heroic scenario. Not blood in the snow. Please, not blood in the snow. You didn't do blood in the snow together. I can't. I tell, you, I tell you, if you do this four, five, maybe 15 more times, I'm leaving you. I am. I'm leaving you. Just don't do blood in the snow. Okay, I know running heroics isn't anything terrible, you're right, but last week we had a conversation that went along these lines. Oh, let me read it first. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I'll try. I'm not going to do a Canadian accent. Hey, Gamer Girl, want to run some dungeons? Not right now. I'm leveling an all. Zanzus has joined the channel. Oh, hey, Gamer Girl. Want to run some heroics? Sure, Zanzus. Gamer Girl and Malefic have left the channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is so cringeworthy, dude. <laughs> Following this, I took Gamer Girl out for dinner and manga shopping last Friday. It went great! We had a fun time laughing at the people running into the restaurant from the rain while we sat inside nice and dry. She was dry, wasn't she? Mm, mm, yes! Now, I don't know if this means anything to anybody in the channel. <laughs> I got her a Vampire Knight novel thing. Vampire Knight? Don't know. Does that give you an image of Gamer Girl? I don't know. It sounds like uh, emo chick went hardcore. Hipster emo chick? I don't know. Twilight fan? Whoa! Do we have a Twilight fan here? Kristen Stewart? Is it Kristen Stewart? I don't know. I need to Google. No, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Remind me to do it later. <laughs> and we split money on a birthday gift for her best friend who invited us to her birthday this coming weekend. She went home immediately and hopped on WoW with Zanzos. Well, thank you for helping me pay for my birth. <laughs> it was really nice of you to take me to dinner and help me buy my friend's gift. I'm just going to go home and play WoW with Zanzos. That's okay, so see you later. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the handouts. I, I really generally do. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Last Saturday, Gamer Girl told me that she isn't interested in me anymore. No way! Sl 
slap my ass. They call me Shirley. This is weird. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Last Saturday, Gamer Girl told me that she isn't interested in me anymore and that I am a nice guy. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> and that I am not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice guy. You are a nice guy. There's a thing about nice guys. It escapes my mind right now. Can't remember it. But it's kind of true for overly nice people. I can't remember. Maybe someone in the chat knows. I'm a nice guy. And she wants time to think about whether we should stay together. <laughs> You're a really nice guy. Uh, it's not you, it's me. We're hitting all the bases, right? Are we playing Break Up Bingo? You're a nice guy. It's not you, it's me. I'm not interested in you anymore. I just need some time. I think that's the line, right? Bingo! We got it all in there, guys. We got it all in there. <laughs> Ten Canadian dollars says she will be with Zanzos in the next month. What's that, about five pounds? I'm not sure what Canadian dollars is. I've got to be honest. A survey says, yeah. <laughs> now you're cutting on to the idea. And there you go, ballers. Such a happy ending. My drama story about how WoW caused me to lose my guild, since I'm not playing with my ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend ruling over me. I've cancelled my subscription, since I plan to go to Neverwinter. Now I'm even more depressed. I don't know what's more depressing, the drama story, or that you're looking forward to Neverwinter. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. I really don't. <laughs> For a while before returning to finish 5.4. <gasps> Subber up, Subber! Boo! Hey, Subber up, Subber! Canadians! It's the Canadians! That ghost crawler knows that and he's not telling us. Right, guys? Am I right, guys? The Subber Unsubbers are the Canadians! <laughs> I don't know, I just Subber Unsub guy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to talk with Zansus IRL right now. Not right now, never again. Okay? For real. Cutting the fun, never again. It's not a friend. <laughs> Zansus is not your friend. I don't know why you don't get that. Not again. <laughs> just, just not now. And again, and I'm about to lose my girlfriend. Dude, she's gone! She went ages ago! Come on, man! You can do this! Get your shit together! I'm fucking serious! She left ages ago! Zanza's not a bro! She's not a girlfriend! There is no chance of saving this! Do not take it to the good book! I swear to thee! Do not take it to the good book! Don't be that guy! Don't be that guy. Do not take... I... I put water on an expensive keyboard for your story. Okay? It's going to be fine, though. Razor. Dude! I hope your week goes better than mine. It will! Get your shit together. And have a good weekend, bro. Because it's a good story. It's a good story, but... Let's not go into that. Okay. Do we have time for It's Just a Game? <laughs> Five minutes remaining. We'll speed through it. We'll speed through it. We need a cheerier story. We need a cheerier story, don't we? We need a cheerier story to finish up on. Right. No names have been given to this one. No names have been given. So whoever comes up, comes up. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Whoever comes up, comes up. <sighs> the good times. Chapter one. The good times. And chapter two, obviously, is probably the bad times. <laughs> My story begins at the launch of Cataclysm. I just started playing on official servers because private servers could not support the awesome expansion that I thought Kata was. I was a noob, so I had to learn how to play. At the launch of patch 4.3, I was decked out with gear and learned how to play my Fire Mage. I joined a cesspool guild and met three very friendly people. A rogue. I'm picking people randomly, don't count out. Valentha, the rogue. I don't even know if you appear again, so don't go spammy. Valentha, a rogue. Another priest GM. Priest slash GM, who will be 
Kamikaze. That's it. So we met Valithra and... Oh, okay. So we got another girl. Okay. Priest girl. So there's a third person who will be... Necro. Huh. No, not Necro. Purely because that's weird to call the girl a necrophiliac. Pint-sized. He's in. She's a lovely dwarven lady. So we got Valenthra, Kamikaze, and Pint-sized. Two priests, one rogue. Party. And we did Glory of the Hero together. We had fun until I was in a pug raid with a raiding guild on my realm. I decided to move to that guild instead. I get it. <laughs> and Kamikaze, no, no, and Pint-sized joined me. We were good friends and had great times. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. The lady, Kamikaze, left us and hasn't been on for seven months. Sorry, Kamikaze, that was your role in the story. Valithra changed round to do more PvP. Okay, you're out of the story as well, so it's just pint-sized. Pint-sized had a lot of alts and changed factions a lot to see how our realm was ally side. Okay? Pint size got the dough. Chapter 2, The Escalation. At launch of Mr. Pandaria, the raiding guild I was in, realm transferred because my realm was dying out. Pint size decided to stay ally till 5.1 of Mr. Pandaria and made a guild. He asked me to come and fill a DPS slash healer spot for him with my mage and shaman. I was made an officer and started helping Pint Sized with the guild. We got the raid to some sort of guild raid scene, but still needed more people to fill some spots. As the GM, Pint Size was a lazy bastard and barely did anything I was always told him to do. So I always ended up doing things that I didn't have permission to do. Can, can I recruit the guild? At one point, he couldn't take it because I was too bossy and a tryhard. <laughs> Try too hard, man. It sounds like Pint Size is such a stoner. I was too bossy and a tryhard for the guild to succeed. Pint Size gave me the GM rank and said, You lead the guild the way you want. I won't bother you. I will stay in the guild and help. Good guy, Pint Size. We did a few more raids and cleared Mogashan vaults. This is in patch 5.3. Sure, progress is progress. And the next Saturday, we would be doing Heart of Fear. During the week, I hear that the former GM, oh, Pint Sized, is leaving the realm to join another raiding guild. As a close friend and a new GM, I asked, why are you leaving? He said, people in the guild are different now, and that I was the main reason he was leaving. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> why are you leaving? Oh, uh, you. So, there you go. At least he was honest. Pint Sized. Cuts no shit. Pint size doesn't beat around the bush. Pint size knows what's going on. I later found out that he was being rude to one of our raiders and a girl in the first place. I lost my shit. I thought that as he's sick of me and a few others, why would he want any other of his characters in the guild to stay? So I kicked them all. Mwahaha. It actually says mwahaha in brackets. Evil maneuver. You kicked him and his alts. Bold move. The next day, I found out that he deleted me from his real ID, Skype, and the good book. That's mean. That's just mean. <laughs> brackets. He was really pissed. <laughs> his very good friend, a PvP and mage, whispers me saying that Pint Sized is very mad with me. And that I don't deserve the title of Guild Master. And threatened me, saying that a lot of members would follow him. Brackets. Four people. <laughs> if I didn't change. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is like Lobby Guild stuff, man. Lobby Guild drama is the best. <laughs> Ooh. I said that I, what I thought the day before that. And he continued to rage at me. My closing statement was, I don't give a fuck about you. What you think, or what he thinks he is as good as dead to me now. Poor pint-sized, eh? <laughs> totally, 
We got serious for a moment there because I don't give a fuck about you, pint-sized. You are dead to me. <laughs> That's how serious it is. You are dead to me, pint-sized. Chapter three: the conclusion and outcome of these players leaving. There is a. This is something. It's getting serious. Pint-sized and one of his friends didn't raid on weekdays. That you kicked them from the guild. Why would they? <laughs> Now that they are gone, the guild can raid any time. Oh, they had a rule that we can't raid on weekdays. <laughs> Welcome to our guild. First rule, we don't raid on weekdays. So, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good guild. So, first things first, we're going to change that guild. The two officers were PvP freaks. PvP mage and a shaman are moving. Meaning that... <laughs> <laughs> none of you in the world watching this right now, absolutely none of you, will ever understand how good news it is that the two PvP guys are leaving the guild. Because it has a crucial, and I mean with the bottom of my heart, crucial effect on the guild that these two will no longer be in the guild. It's... They are moving. This means that 100 gold will not be taken from the guild bank for repairs when they do BGs all day. leaving is an all-round win for the guild. Yes. Thank God that 100 gold will not be taken anymore. Sure, I lost a few friends, but life is all about making friends and losing friends. And to be honest, this is just a game. You're right. That is some serious First world, World of Warcraft problems. First world, <laughs> World of Warcraft problems. <laughs> Almost third world, 100 gold, 100 gold, <laughs> 100 gold. And that does, in rough time, almost made it, three minutes over, not bad. That does bring us to the end of Drama Friday. I have a little bit of a dizzy spell, which is cool. A little bit of a dizzy spell. That is the end, and but, and but, not real words. Not the end of stream for this week. It is, of course, web show. That's right. It's web show time. Saturday. Tomorrow. Send your bro fists in. I have a place to put your bro fists in. If you're not sure what it is because you're new to the channel, I would love it. And I mean this seriously. What you cannot see because you were there and I am here is I have faces of many, many, many of you on the wall. It actually really helps me when I make videos because I can see you. I can see the kind of people I'm speaking to. If you wish to send me a picture of you, just throwing me a bro fist. If you have a camera phone, it's really easy. Phone, camera, boo, and it's done. And then send it to one of my emails. It even has its own one. It's just brofist at preachgaming.com, but you can send it to anyone. Uh, and then we'll put it on the wall. And there you are, forever, forever, forever. Forever, forever, forever. On top of that, a quick reminder, I am doing the Convert to Raid podcast on Sunday at 5 p.m. Convert to Raid. You can listen to it at convertoraid.com. It will be live at 5 p.m. on Sunday. It's 5 p.m. GMT, which I'm apparently told is noon Eastern Standard Time for those guys up in America. Um, and we're going to be talking about raiding, LFRs, accessibility, and of course, flexi raiding. Flexi raiding and all that good stuff. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for... I, I received three drama stories while we were streaming. And I received a donation as well. So I really appreciate that. Helps us out immensely. I will see you tomorrow. Okay? I will see you tomorrow. 8 p.m. GMT. So I assume then that is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy, guys. Thank you very, very much. Bye. Have a great evening. And if I don't see you tomorrow, really, have a great weekend. Do something, okay? Have a great weekend. Do something with your weekend. Especially in the UK, because it's sunny as balls. Barbecue time, people. Barbecue time. Bye, everybody, and thank you for tuning in.